Good afternoon, Adam. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Yes. How are you doing? Oh, very well. Warm, but very well. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> it's warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's bonkers. <laughs> the world's gone mad. The world's gone hot. Okay. Uh, let me just adjust this so it's a bit. Can you can you hear me okay? Yeah, absolutely fine. Thank. That's that's fine. Excellent. Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Hi, Carrie. I'm Likewise. Adam. Thank you. Mm -hmm. for, thank you for taking the time to be interviewed. Oh, pleasure. No problem at all. No, thanks for asking. So first things first, I've got to ask, why the milkman? Um, the well, yeah, it's not, you know, it's it's not the coolest name in the world, but it's I think it's um I think the music is very when Jamie and I were thinking of a band name, you know, we we we've been in many bands together and we spent an awful lot of time wasting time trying to think of a good band name. And I think this time we 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 spent our time rehearsing and writing songs instead. And so when it came to actually thinking of a band name, we just wanted something really simple and unpretentious, you know, which is a, a bit like the music is, you know, it's it's kind of um, we didn't want anything too, too sort of fancy. And, and the Milkman, you know, it's familiar and it's straightforward and simple. But also I think it's got all that lovely kind of um connotation with you know all the imagery that we've been using for the albums for all the, the word association we've been using for the albums kind of thing it does work as well i mean well it it, it struck caught my eye straight away the milkman because you say it's such a, such a, a word that's not so much in any other countries but certainly in in, in britain it, it's the milkman is like you know. Well, it's really familiar. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's everybody remembers Milkman and everybody mm. remembers Milkman affectionately, don't they? You know, they and do, it's a yeah. kind of, it's kind of a, a, a something from a bygone era, which is a bit, a bit like our music, to be honest. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's a bit. I, I prefer the term classic. Classic. Well, yeah, that, that'll do as well. Classic heritage tribute, you know, mm. all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's worked really well for us. It, it work, looks great Good on the day, logo yeah. and, and people do remember it and they always come up to us and talk about, you know, gold, gold top, full fat delivery, all that kind of stuff, which we've used for the album titles. And of course, we've used for the new album title and probably will continue to do so, I guess, if we can keep, you know, thinking up thinking these of something ones. else. <laughs> yeah, keep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Keep thinking up funny ones. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there are. I'm sure that there must be loads and loads of terms that, that, that people associated with milkman. Some of yeah. them more derogatory than others, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> to see it away from those ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so you formed the band initially, didn't you, with uh, Jamie, the vocalist? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Jamie and I. We grew up together. We met at school when we were 11 years old. We've been best mates ever since. And we've, we've, we've been in and out of bands, you know, together for, for all our lives. And um, I, was, I, I, I was busy with the Mustangs. I play in the Mustangs. And, um, and, and Jamie just said to me after one night watching Dr. Feelgood DVDs, he just said, um, you know, do you want to just form a band for fun? I know you're busy but let's just form a band for fun and play all the covers that no other bands play. And I was kind of busy, but I missed playing with him and, and said, yes. And, um, and, and th then, you know, before you know it, you kind of, these things gain momentum, you know, and, and Jamie and I are sort of very, you know, we don't like kind of, you know, we, we inevitably we started writing songs together again and taking it more and more seriously. And, um, and, and 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 here we are, you know, four albums down the line and the band momentum is just getting bigger and bigger all the time. And it's 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 really kind of exciting now. And it's funny to think that it was really just something we were originally going to do just just to have some fun with, you know. And um, but but once we got Mike and Lloyd in, um, the whole thing kind of moved on to another level from from a sort of playing wise and a, and a commitment wise and everything. And uh, and that was gosh, that was nearly 10 years ago now. So been a while you, you mentioned dr feelgood um yeah. you, you can hear dr feelgood in your music that there is that there's 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 a certain rhythmic function you know part in dr feelgood yeah. music it just kind of yeah. chugs along at a steady pace and you know exactly where the song is going to go so yeah, yeah, so yeah never satisfied yeah. it always leaves hey, you with that hey are you calling us predictable 
No, it, I didn't mean predictable. I, I what I meant was some songs seem to meander off in different yeah, directions, yeah. and it leaves you thinking, yeah. "Well, I actually liked the way the song was going," and then you went yeah. in a different direction. No, do you know what? To- totally, um, you're, you're absolutely right. I mean, I remember Jamie and I going to see Doctor Feelgood uh, with Lee Brillo many, many years ago, and you know, we both walked away from that gig just thinking, "Yeah, you know, that's Such the kind of band fun. we want to be in. That's the kind of band we want to be in," because mm-hmm. you know. With a lot of music that, you know, it, a lot of music is, is there's an awful lot of, you know, it has to go through here. Mm. And when music goes through here, it means that you are filtering things. Yeah. But when you're playing this kind of music, there's no filter. It, it, it literally that you get that, you know, it comes straight from here. Mm. And, when, and I don't know if you've seen us live, but our live show is very, very, dynamic and fun and full on and it is just four guys having the best time and that translates to the audience which is which is lovely and 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 this this kind of music is just so much fun to play live and and you know we 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 sort of feel like we're getting better at it and um and 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 so yeah the the dog to feel good influence is massive but i also think that we we all love a, a great range of rock music and classic classic pop and stuff like that. And I think if you listen carefully, you can hear influences from all over the place in there. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's even stuff by, I mean, I, I would recognise the faces in amongst some faces, of the rhythm yeah. sections. Yeah, you know, yeah. all, all that kind of stuff. E- even early proto-punk is there that yeah, kind of totally, really oh, simple absolutely. four to the floor kind of, you know, we're just going to give totally. you this song and you're going to dance to it yeah. and don't have a thinking. Yeah. yeah but oh, you know, absolutely. it's all, it's all about the melody for us, mm. for me and Jamie, particularly, you've got to have hook in there. You know, you've got to have, so we're not about long guitar solos and we're not about, you know, bringing in banks of synthesizers or any of that. You know, we just, we want to get in, get out and just give it a groove and give it a melody and play it with absolute commitment. And then, and I think people are sort of responding to that now because judging by, you know, the amount of people jumping on board the, the milk float for want of a better phrase, you know, it's, it seems to be really catching on, which is brilliant. It's good. It's good. You deserve it as well. There's, there's so much, um, as you say, music that goes through here. It's all very pretentious and it's all very, they've got these deep meanings and I have to, I have to sort of talk to them for half yeah. an hour just trying to figure out what's going on whereas you're just there to give us <laughs> give everybody a good time yeah. and and certainly well, in this true. day and age but, you know don't get me wrong I love a lot of pretentious music you know I I, I really do you know as do we all in the band oh, um, yeah. so it, this is this is not a derogatory comment it's just that when when we choose to play live this is the kind of music we want to play mm. live you know and that's and that's and they all just sort of it all comes together and of course we have a great connection with that kind of music through Lloyd's dad, who was Mick Green, you know, oh. who's, um, you know, rhythm and blues legend in the mm. Pirates. He's played with everybody. So so that connection also gives us a very kind of authentic kind of bridge to the past as well. You, you, you've got a, a broad range of instruments to call on as well. You know, you all seem to be multi-instrumentalists. So no matter well, what, what, well, what instruments I'm, you want to play, you, uh, one of you can I'm do the, that. I'm the multi-instrumentalist, Carrie. You know, I mean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ego, ego, ego. Yeah, no, okay. Well, actually, there's a mandolin on the floor behind me. And you can I know, play right. and I, I rather like the bandolin, the mandolin. Yeah, um, banjo as yeah, well. No, ooh, ooh. The, uh, a, a bit, um, no, the, um, well, I, I, I've, I've been a musician all my life i grew up around music so i'm i'm happy to sort of try and make a noise out of anything you know wh- whether it be good or bad you know i've got all these things here i can't play them you know they're just they're just here you know and i just have studio to go here is exactly the same we've got loads, loads <laughs> of stuff from here we just yeah. have, have a play with them every now and then and then think oh well i can't play it forget it yeah exactly <laughs> i'm I, you know you just you you blag your way don't you yeah. try and get a tune out of it and then and then if it sounds good we put it on some of the records you know and 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 it, and it just adds a bit of color doesn't it yeah, bit of, absolutely just, just a bit of on onto your new single which isn't milk related or if it is you'll have to explain it to me cheap seats. well we don't yeah we don't want to we don't we don't want to push the milky thing Onto every single. You don't song. want to milk it. You, no, mm. oh, you went there, <laughs> Carrie. You went there. You, oh, <laughs> was that too cheesy? No, you, uh, stop it, <laughs> stop it. Um, bo- bottle it, bottle it. Oh, um, it's yeah, getting sorry. worse. Oh, this is this is getting out of hand, isn't it? No, the <laughs> no. Look, it's great for the album. 
um mm. album titles and it's good for fun on the posts and things when we can when we when we communicate and talking with our our followers but uh i think if we did it on every song i think we'd yeah. exhaust everyone's patience yeah. um so that's yeah. kind of the songs we kind of absolutely just let them we do their own thing without having to have any milk related stuff but again it has that that working class rock mentality at the cheap seats everybody everybody knows what the cheap seats are yeah 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 and it does have a very down-to-earth groove to it as well well that this is our sort of zz top stevie wonder love child song i was going to mention zz top on it it's cheap sunglasses I mean, we all love ZZ Top. We all love Stevie Wonder. So let's mash him up. You know, why not? It's a, it's maybe not the most natural mashup, but that's kind of the fun of, 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 I mean, you know, I see, and I'm not naming names and I'm not, I'm not having a go at anyone, but you see a lot of bands who try very hard now to be a classic rock band. Mm. You know, they dress in the classic rock clothes and they have the classic rock logo and they're playing songs they're playing basically sort of you know p- uh, photocopy songs of old zeppelin tunes and things like that and you know that's cool you know if you want to do that but you know i think being the the band we are where we just take every influence and we mash it up and make it something hopefully uniquely milk money and then we wear these ridiculous suits that people you know people don't wear anymore um it, it just it just makes us a bit different. We're not trying to be anyone else at all. You know, we are literally just like, this is who we are. These are our influences. We're going to throw them all in. We don't care. Listen to it or don't, you know, but we're not, we're not asking to be lumped in with, you know, a sort of classic rock clique or the guitar hero clique or anything like that. You know, we, we really just try and stay separate from all of that. I think. Good for you. And, and, and after all the, the kind of rock, bands that they are trying to be and trying to emulate they felt exactly the same way as you did we're not trying to be the beatles we're not trying to be the stones we are us that's it and i think if you if you try too hard to to be a band associated with that kind of era of rock music you end up being a bit of a sort of museum piece Mm. or try you know do you know what i mean trying to be a bit of a yeah and it just you know it, it 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 doesn't kind of ring it doesn't it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me i'd, I'd say that you know your your album uh your new album is coming out on september the 9th i believe in, in you're doing that yeah. independently released aren't you yeah yeah uh, that's it's right. called it's spin the bottle the... oh happy, happy spin the bottle, spin that's, the bottle. Right. <laughs> that's right that's right on milkman records yeah. yeah no we're very happy to be independent but have a, i've been through many record deals myself and uh they they all end in tears uh <laughs> for one reason or another but um, but this this way we have complete control over everything, uh, which is just you know lovely, you know. Yeah. And and when you have a following now as 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 as, as broad as ours is, you know, you, they they're very loyal. You know, they 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 don't give a monkey's if you're on a label or not. They just they just want to buy the record and come and see the shows, and that's all you ever want from people, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Talking of shows, uh, you've got some live dates coming up, haven't you? Do you want to yeah. give a quick? Brief rundown of what where you're going. Well, we're doing we're doing the old Bush Blues Festival, um, which is going to be uh, which is which is out in uh, Worcester. That's going to be on the 20, 20, uh, 21st. I've got a thing here actually. I've got a couple of the shows written down there. That's the twenty first old Bush Blues Festival, which is a fabulous festival. And then we uh, we're headlining that. We've, we're closing that on the Sunday, and then on the Saturday night at the Petersfield Summer Festival in Petersfield Square in Hampshire. We are um, we're playing we're headlining that which is going to be uh, great can't wait for that um, we've got um, th- we got we're playing with Doctor Field again feel good again um, up in up in Leicester we've done a lot of shows with them really lovely bunch of guys who've been really kind to us and um, uh, yes Skegness we'll be doing the, the Skegness in January. Um, which we're really excited about um, we we played that a few years ago to an absolutely packed jack's bar and we've been just absolutely chomping at the bit to get back and um and because we're going to be on the main stage this time which will be really exciting yeah and um and 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 lots of other shows i can't remember as well so in between i think we've got a list anyway so we'll we will put them in the in the description below as they say yeah that'd be lovely yeah (laughs) um 
I mean, you mentioned a lot of your musical influences. If I was, to, yeah. if I was to do the the generic thing and put you on the spot and say, what what's your favourite song of all time? <laughs> what, what, a, what a question! That is being on the spot. Um, uh, oh my God, Carrie, that's a hell of a question. Do you know what? I've been listening to a lot of Desert Island Discs recently, so. I, I could probably tell you what, you know, what, what my that. favorite do it. three or four are. Pretend, pretend you're a professional and we're doing Desert Island Discs. That's, I'll pretend you're, um, you're a, is it Jan Leeming who did Desert Island Discs? I Disc? wish, but never mind. We'll go, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> I, I, okay, I'll, t- I'll tell you some of the songs that I, I love. I love uh, I love the Beatles and Here Comes the Sun is, is possibly uh, my favorite no, I can't say my favorite Beatles song, but that would be one I'd choose. I, I love Frank Sinatra. I've got you under my skin is one of my favorite Frank tunes. Uh, Joni Mitchell, I love both sides now for uh, other reasons is, is is a song I'd I'd take. Um, but I think you know I'm I'm a I grew up a massive Beatles fan. That was my mm. thing, just and that's where my love of melody has come from. But then I love the Stones just, you know, almost as much. And that's where the, the rock and roll comes from. So I think, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's such a it's it's such a, a bog standard answer to talk about the Beatles and the Stones. But, the, you know, the, the Beatles and the Stones for a reason, because they were so bloody great and everyone loves yeah. them. And that's kind of I love Bowie as well. And, 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 and Dylan and Neil Young and just so many other things. Go, well, do you know what? Tell me. Go on. Tell me your favorite question. Now see how it feels. My favorite, my favorite song of Sorry, all not time. Favorite, did I say question? My, Tell me your my, favorite my, song. My favorite song of all time um, is you're gonna. It, this is so cheesy. Go I'm on, you. Go on. I, I'm already hearing my husband groan in the back. Go on. Winger, you gonna say Winger headed for a heartbreak. I total eighties hair metal yeah, shock. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I'm not that familiar with it. But I'm going to go little winger heading wi- for a heartbreak. Yeah, I love the the way the melody goes. I love the way it's it's got yeah. a darkness about, it, as if to say, you know, I'm going to break your heart, sort of thing. And it, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's got nothing to do with the fact he's incredibly dishy either. But but that's that's not <laughs> the matter. <laughs> no, nothing at all. No, no, no. His chest does not influence me at all. <laughs> brilliant i'm gonna i'm gonna check that out because i don't know that one it's lovely yeah. a lot of winger stuff is, is i mean they you know they, they slagged them off for many years but they're, they're, they're good songwriters anyway enough of winger yeah. um i've got to ask now that the the ultimate question that your your milk fans were dying to know okay skimmed semi-skimmed or full fat milk I personally go for semi-skimmed. Oh, controversial. Yeah. Mm. But I do know people in the band who go full fat. Oh, wow. Um, wow. And I don't wow. think anyone in the band goes skimmed. That's just too far, isn't it? It's too far. It's if, too far. If they, if they did, would it be the end of, of, of them in the band, you think? I think we'd definitely have to consider their position going mm. forward. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you yeah. might as well just get a glass of water and pour it over your cereal, mightn't you? Do you know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> it's, just it's, it's no flavour, there's no colour. It's just, no, it's, it's um, just the, some of the yeah. to the fridge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, I think I, yeah, I'm absolutely a sim, a simi skimmed, simi skimmed. What's that new? Yeah. Is that a new one? Simi simi skimmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try that. What about you? I, uh, I, I must admit, I am a full fat girl, as you can probably yeah. tell. And, That's <laughs> and is there anything you'd like to say to your many fans out there before I, I let you go off and, and do your milk round? I just, just, um, if you uh, have heard The Milkman um, and want to hear more, come, join our website, www.themilkmanmusic.com and join our free subscriptions club where you get uh, extra access to videos and songs and interviews and things. And um, and become a follower on Facebook because we have a really active Facebook page, which is themilkmanband.com. We, we really love interacting with the fans and followers, and that community seems to be really growing and thriving. And uh, mm. it's lovely to have, you know, all those people listening to our music and, and watching our videos. But the most important thing really is just just check us out, check out our music. We're on Spotify as well. And um and 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 pick up spin the bottle and 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 see what you think and if you like it then just get on board for the ride because it's going to be a lot of fun i think 
Thank you so much for your time, Adam. Absolute pleasure, Carrie. Enjoyed uh, that. Thanks. No, thank you for your time. Bye bye, Adam. And good luck bye. with the album. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Now. bye. Heading for that golden town